Hi everyone, Wayne Motts from the National Civil War Museum on the Gettysburg Battlefield South End, John Slider Farm behind me at the monument to Company D of the Second United States Sharpshooters and Devil's Den off to the left of your screen. This is a follow-up video to the video that I did previous on John Bell Hood and his protesting of orders on July 2nd, 1863. General Hood is critically wounded here in the arm at the Battle of Gettysburg on July 2nd. And we don't know the exact location where General Hood was wounded, but we have some clues. And I think this area that we're standing in is the general area where General Hood was wounded on the second day's battle after the advance of his division. Now we have a letter from Jerome Robertson, the commanding officer of the Texas Brigade here in the Battle of Gettysburg, and that letter dates to 1876, and it's to John Batchelder, our government historian. And he says that he was riding with Hood until they got to a location where a lane that was encased in two stone walls, and then he becomes separated from General Hood. And he later said that's where General Hood was wounded. Well, on a map, after the battle, we can see that right along here, this lane going down to the John Slider farm is a lane encased in two stone walls in the front of General Hood's division on July 2nd, 1863. Off to the right of your screen, to the left of my shoulder, there also was a very small orchard here, and General Hood references an orchard in his 1875 letter, which describes this, because General Hood doesn't write a report here in the Battle of Gettysburg because he's wounded. He's struck by an artillery shell in the left arm. We don't know exactly where that came from, either Devil's Den or along the Wheatfield Road. And that wound will take him out of action here in the Battle of Gettysburg and deprive the Confederates of key command and control here at this end of the battlefield on July 2nd, 1863. Now, General Hood survives that wound. He's taken to a field hospital here. He uses uh, loses the use, really, of his left arm. He later will lose his right leg in the Battle of Chickamauga, and he will die of yellow fever in 1879 in New Orleans, Louisiana. But his wounding, I think, one of the two most critical for the Confederate Army here in the Battle of Gettysburg. Wounding of John Bell Hood on July 2nd, and wounding of William Dorsey Pender on July 2nd as well. I hope you enjoyed this Thursday snapshot. We want to thank the Peach Orchard Brigade Northwest Battalion for their sponsorship of these uh, snapshots. And if you're not a subscriber here at the YouTube channel, subscribe and go back and watch the video I did previous on General Hood's protest. Thanks.